Homeless encampment packed up. MoDOT issuing a trespassing notice telling people to get out of the encampment that sits right by the westbound I-44 on-ramp at Hampton Avenue. News 4's Gabriela Vidal is hearing from an advocate that says this, though, is not solving the bigger issue. Gabby. Yeah, Paige, and here is that notice to vacate and trespassing order that first indicate what was going to be taking place today here at noon. And now the city and MoDOT have fulfilled that order, removing all the tents and items that were located here off of the I-44 westbound on ramp. But we've seen people still panhandling in this area nearby. Some of the people that were unhoused living here, which is fueling some of the concerns that advocates already have, saying that this didn't solve anything. I was horrified that the war on poverty has become the war on the impoverished. Bags, trash and tents have been hauled off from I-44 and Hampton Avenue. Workers with the city forestry department and MoDOT came in to shut down and remove the homeless camp. This is the second one in city limits in two weeks to be closed. This notice to vacate is based on no trespassing and the safety of all those present. The notice to vacate comes months after the state's ban on camping on state-owned land went into effect. So these people are pushed out of here and they're pushed and they just keep moving, moving like nomads, like refugees uh, in our midst. MoDOT tells News 4 the motivation for clearing out this encampment has more to do with public safety. It is not safe for them to be set up in the state-maintained right-of-way. Whether a vehicle could go out of control and strike them or the litter, debris, fire hazards of their location and where they're located. City Hall says the belongings for the unhoused will be secured while they find a new place to stay. They're not addressing the root problem that people can't afford anymore the first and last month's rent. And if they've ever been evicted, they aren't finding another place. There's not enough shelters at all. They continue to close down the shelters. The city tells News 4 outreach was done leading up to the removal and two initially accepted shelter resources. One declined as of this afternoon. But there's concerns we'll see more of this as the homeless crisis grows. We've got to come up with permanent housing. We also have to come up with a permanent place that these individuals can be at come up with jobs for them, help them break the cycle of homelessness. But this isn't breaking it. This is only causing people to fall further and further. Another homeless advocacy group that we spoke to earlier this week told us that to their knowledge, at least three people were living at this site prior to being removed from this encampment, though uh, I, we spoke with two of them today who said at the time they had no idea where they were planning to go. Now we'll continue to monitor this as well as any other issues related to the UNS house on KMOV.com and on our news app reporting live in South City. Gabriella Vidal, News 4. Missouri and Illinois.